So Jason's usually the first one up, and he always wakes me up. So today I'm gonna wake him up. Wake up! We don't want to get up. We had a lot of fun last night. Um, I, what time do we normally go to bed? Like at 7.30? <laughs> we were <laughs> Probably. <laughs> we probably stayed up till close to midnight last night, which is uh, unusual for us. Especially, well, lately. Whenever we're uh, touring with bands and stuff, we're used to staying up to like, I don't know, one or two, something like that, I guess. Three or four. Yeah, it depends on... <laughs> where we're at and what we got to do the next day but we've been doing more of the homesteading stuff and not really going for the uh tour life and so uh whenever this band came through and we were able to do this um video and stuff for them of course we did it we enjoy what we do it's what we do for a living but getting out of bed after a night like that it's pretty rough and we didn't even drink yeah we uh, just worked, and that was it. But we have to get on with our day, so we're going to go uh, feed the animals. Even though we live a very different lifestyle at night, on some nights, we still got to come back, <coughs> feed the animals. We have responsibilities. These are our kids, our future, our life. So it's a good balance between working with musicians and animals, and we wouldn't trade this for anything. Breakfast of champions right here. We have been giving our duck eggs to our neighbor, and in return, she's been baking us all sorts of stuff, and this is a chocolate pound cake, chocolate frosting, and I think like fudge pieces or something in the middle. And I don't know if if it's the duck eggs or she's just really good at baking. But, guys, this is incredible. It tastes awesome. So, I'm going to eat my breakfast because I'm on the Ito diet. Jaylena is on the Keto diet. So, this is my breakfast. And this is hers. Nothing. And I promise that's chocolate on my hand and not anything else. But... She doesn't get to eat breakfast because she's on a 16-hour um, fast, I think. And so uh, we normally eat breakfast around lunchtime. So I'm going to enjoy this, and I'm going to enjoy eating it right in front of Jaylena. So we just arrived at Tractor Supply. As you know, we have cats. Multiple. So we wanted to try and find a way that was healthier for us and our cats but also more affordable overall because we have so many animals so we did some research and we found that you could buy horse pellets like uh their bedding stuff and you could put it in there and then you you could buy a kitty litter pan that already has everything ready to go we're gonna make our own because we like to do everything do it yourself so we're gonna go in buy the stuff show you what it is and then we're gonna show you how to set it up that way we can compost it, not for a garden, but just for trees and stuff like that. And then you're just not stuck with kitty litter. It doesn't stink as bad. It's not as messy. And I think overall, it's awesome. And it's healthier. You can actually get upper respiratory infections from the dust in kitty litter, you and your cats. So this is something that I really wanted to do for all of our health. And this is a year of trying new things and getting where we want in life. So. Let's run inside, get the stuff, and let's get to work. So the price of normal kitty litter can vary from like 12 to $20, and this is the price for two 40 pound bags. For 11 bucks. Bro. What? Two for 11 bucks. I know, I wanted to show it. Is this what we got last time? It looks a little different. It's just the tractor stuff. So before we get started on the litter box, we are going to feed Stainer and all the big guys.
container. So we have two litter boxes. We have this one that it has the indentions that come out on this inside. And then we have this one that doesn't. This is a little bit bigger. So we put this inside of this one. It raises it up just a, an inch or two, which is just enough. So Jason is going to take the larger litter box and use a drill and drill some holes in the bottom of the litter box and that will allow any of the dust from the pellets or the sawdust from the pellets to fall through. And when the cats pee on the pellets, they will just turn into sawdust. So it works out perfectly. You don't have to have any rhyme or reason for where you put it. Just put some holes. Of course, if you put something in a box or something, a cat will try to sit in it. But basically, here you go. You put it like that. And as you can tell, it sits on top. You have a good little spot. Then you get your pellets that you bought. I got my knife on me. fill it up and as you see it's not going to fall through the holes but once it turns into sawdust it'll easily be able to fall through the holes. once you pour it in there just level it out you want about two inches or so of pellets and as you can tell, they're pretty big. They're not gonna fall through, but when they get wet, they will crumble. And then we have a top part to this that goes over that they like to get in so it doesn't uh, knock out to the sides. But what you do is, when they, well, what we do is, is every week, or every week, every day, you go in, just scoop the poop out, put it in a bag, not a big deal, and then just give it a good shake or two. And then of course, there shouldn't really be anything under, but then you could pick it up and it'll be whatever's in there. You just dump the bottom part out and leave the pellets that are in there, add more on top, and then you just keep that cycle going. So basically every day you can shake it. You can wait a day or two before emptying the bottom part, but the bottom part will only be sawdust. There won't be any poop. Um, the PES goes into the um, pellets, which makes sawdust, but you can take that out, you can compost it, not for your garden or anything like that. You can put it on, you know, little shrubs or whatever you have out in your yard or whatever you want to do. I don't care what you do with it, but very, very easy way to do this. I love my cats. They're my kids. Of course, I want them to be healthy and I want me to be healthy. We do have three cats though, so that adds up. We were spending probably about $30 a month on the good Arm & Hammer odor resistant multi-cat kitty litter and now we have been able to get that down to six dollars a month using this method and it's healthier for all of us. Win-win! That is definitely a win-win and we highly suggest it as far as odor goes. I think it does great with odor. It does just as good as the normal kitty litter does as far as odor goes. She's already in there scratching. And basically Basically what we did, since you can see they have no problem going in there, but what we did was we had normal kitty litter. The best thing you can do is for what, three or four days? We probably added a scoop or so of this in there so they got used to it. And then we did about half kitty litter, half pellets. And after that, we just completely switched them over after about a week or so and just put nothing but pellets and they had no issues whatsoever. So. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, if you guys have any questions regarding this kitty litter method, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you the best way we can. And also, if you decide to try it, let us know what you think. We think it's pretty awesome. Let's ask, uh, scroll down here. What do you think? Hey, you like it? Yeah. And so now, as promised, here is a look into what Jason and I do for a living. So we are here um, in downtown Dallas at the House of Blues. We are filming the, the 
second half of a music video that we started this summer on Fans Warp Tour for a band called Mest. And so, uh, so we'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes of what we do. to just relax and watch the show. We're almost done filming for the day and then uh, we'll take some pictures of the band and uh, it's been a whole lot of fun. Hey guys, this is my serious face. I've got a serious question for you. Jalena thinks, and I don't think, that I need new boots. I've had these for a year, and they've got a hole here, and a little hole here. Just a little one. It's not bad. I think it's doing all right. But uh, she thinks that we should take this to you guys and decide do I need new boots or am I still getting my money's worth? I paid 13 bucks and they've lasted a year. So leave a comment below, yes or no on boots. And now next question. I'm so surprised I didn't get this sooner, but someone asked me, what happened to your ear? Do you guys see this? So I'm gonna leave you guys with the multiple choice question. Is it A, a dog jumped up and ripped my ear? Or B, I was climbing through a barbed wire fence and when I went under, it got my ear? Or C, I stood at the end of our property with an apple on my head and Jared shot at me with a 22, didn't get the apple, hit my ear? A, B, or C? You let me know what you think. We'll tell you tomorrow.